Um, thank you, Account Caller. Just before I start, may I just take the opportunity to extend my own and my party's sympathies to the family uh, of the late, great Jim Steins, um, who passed away after a long illness on Tuesday. He was a true sportsman and used his other skills to help others, particularly children and young people um, who were um, disadvantaged. A proud Dublin man, the Irish man, uh, who became an Australian national hero. Tarnished, uh, since the government announced the introduction of the 100 euro household charge, it has been mishandled in a ham fisted manner. It smacks of arrogance, carelessness, and to be frank, incompetence. Even though the announcement was made last July, the majority of households across the country have yet to receive information leaflets, and there are only 10 more days to the deadline. There has been no proactive campaign. Not everyone has access to the web for information on how to pay or know what choices are available to them. For example, as you know, there is total confusion about people being allowed to make payments uh, at the post office. The Postmasters Union have been commenting on this um, for weeks, and I think the General Secretary of that union summed it up when he said that basically Minister Hogan, he says, seems to be going out of his way to make it difficult for people who want to do so to pay with ease. And the only response from Minister Hogan is a pronouncement from on high that there will be no extension to the deadline. And that is despite the fact that up to 11 a.m. this morning, his department has said that only 280,000 have registered uh, out of 1.8 million um, households who are obliged to register. There's intense anger growing across the country about the manner in which this charge has been handled. The government's attitude, Tornister, to is practically Orwellian. Big Phil is going to get you, seems to be the mantra. No matter what, whether it's through utility charges or through paychecks, there's nowhere, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Big Phil is watching you, he will make you pay. That seems to be the mantra emanating Question, from the government. And I'm sure you will agree, Tornister, that that approach is simply not working. There's no way to treat the vast, number, vast majority of reasonable, responsible people uh, who, want to, who are law-abiding and reasonable and want to uh, obey the law. And remember, before the election, Thank you. the Labour Party wanted exemptions, those in negative equity, those who had paid stamp duty and so on. Yet when Fianna Fáil brought forward amendments to the legislation in this House, you voted against those. So did the Labour Party, despite also calling uh, for such uh, exemptions um, themselves. We had further amendments on, on welfare dependents and medical cards, which were also voted down. Uh, by Fine Gael and Labour. Uh, the basic question, you might clarify, Tanish, to whether you can pay via the post office or not, because I think Sean O'Rourke had to clarify that on the news at one after interviewing you. I think you may have inadvertently made a mistake by saying you could, and he said, lest anyone else be further misled. Thank you. Uh, Tanish, you may have made a mistake. You cannot pay, he said, um, via the post office. And will you now agree to an extension? Will you agree to an extension of the deadline beyond March 31st so that people uh, will be Thank given you. Uh, you, a reasonable opportunity to pay, and a, a payment can be facilitated in much easier ways. I think an extension would allow greater information to be, to be put out and would outline the choices for payment, and indeed would facilitate easier ways of paying. Thank you. Three uh, first of all, I want to <coughs> join with um, Deputy Martin in uh, expressing sympathy uh, on the death of Jim Stein's uh, great sportsman. Uh, great ambassador for this country um, in, uh, in Australia. Uh, and uh, just to say that I'm arranging through our ambassador in Australia uh, for the, the state uh, to be represented at, uh, at, at, the, at the funeral, as I'm sure Deputy Barton uh, would expect. Um, I do acknowledge that there have been difficulties uh, with uh, the payment of the, uh, of the household charge. Uh, and I do acknowledge uh, that there has been difficulties in relation to the communication uh, of the household charge uh, to, to households. I think to some extent I think that is um, understandable enough in a situation where this is a new uh, charge uh, and the method of payment uh, is a, a new uh, method uh, of payment. Um, the position is that uh, the legislation which was um, introduced and the um, 
arrangements which were put in place by the Minister for the Environment provide, provide for a deadline of the 31st of March uh, by which the, the charge is to be paid. Um, no change has been made uh, in that uh, deadline. Uh, I spoke with the Minister for the Environment about it uh, earlier today, uh, and um, uh, no uh, change is uh, planned uh, to, that, uh, to that deadline. It is possible uh, to make the payment uh, at, the, um, at the post office. Uh, I understand that arrangements have been made for the forms and so on to be uh, in place in, in post offices and that people can, uh, can, can make the payment uh, at, the, uh, at the post office, and that's in addition to the uh, arrangement which uh, is in place for paying it online, and I acknowledge that not everybody is in a position to do that uh, or, to, uh, or to pay it by post. Thank you. Um,